Charcuterie boards, or let's simply call it charcuterie, is not a new thing. It was invented in 15th century France and originally they were made with meats and cheeses. Nowadays the boards are made with just about anything you like. Today my daughter Jada is going to show us how she makes this beautiful charcuterie board. You're watching The Bear Pantry Show. Welcome to The Bear Pantry Show. If you want to learn how to cook in simple steps and have your dishes come out great the first time, then you're in the right place. Learn to make restaurant style meals, comfort foods, and authentic Belize in dishes from basic ingredients. I think what I like best about the charcuterie board is that you use some type of a cutting board. So if somebody bought this as a gift for me or they made it as a gift, I would want them to leave me with a cutting board because I love receiving gifts where the food is the thing, but then the container is also a gift. So let's start off with this round cutting board that we have that actually turns, so like a lazy daisy thing. And of course Jada's going to use cheeses, nuts and fruits because that's what she likes. She thought at first she was going to use dipping sauces but decided against that because she didn't have space to fit it to make it look beautiful. So the main thing about a charcuterie board is that you want it to look pretty because you want it to look presentable, right? So let's get into Jada building. She starts in the middle with this one big round white cheese and then she's going to start decorating around. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys, she's going to be putting crackers too, all right? So let's watch her do this. Jada has a really great eye for stuff like this, so I'm sure this board's going to be beautiful by the time she's done with it. So she's adding some mixed nuts, and in this bag of mixed nuts, they have raisins and M&Ms, so it's going to add a lot of color to this board. Notice that she has different color cheeses, right? The white cheese and the yellow cheese. She's got avocado, mandarin, the crackers are different shaped even. She's got the cold cuts. The stuff that's sitting on top of the slab of cheese is artichoke dip that we had in the fridge. She's got green apples, strawberries, grapes. I mean, we just opened the pantry and the fridge and whatever we had, she started to build this board. And then she went to go pick up some of the items like the nuts and the crackers. Now, if you want to buy this retail, this is the pricing that I found on the internet. The small, medium, large, and the grazing table. 30 people, guys. 700 to to $1,000. I guess the cheese and uh, the meats and stuff add up, you know, because cheese is kind of expensive. Sometimes when she sets the stuff down, it'll slide, and then she has to adjust it. Look, she put some craisins on top of the white cheese to even bring it out some more. Wow. So the main thing that I noticed with building of the charcuterie board is that you have to have patience. Jada was at peace while she was building it. The minute she would fold the cold cuts and tuck it in here and then she would put the cheese and then she would put the crackers, the different shapes of the crackers and stuff. I just wanted to stay there and eat the crackers, <laughs> but Jada was so patient with it. When the stuff started sliding around, that's not for me. I'd rather have somebody make this for me than for me to make this myself. But Jada is so good at these artistic type things. So you guys just figure out what you want to put on your board. All right. Don't let nobody confine it to a box until it's supposed to be meat and cheese. It's supposed to be pork. It's supposed to be the guts. I don't care. Put what you like. Make it pretty. If you're not great with Christmas tree lights when they're tangled, you're not going to be good at this. All right. So Jada did this and you guys saw earlier, I showed you in the video how these things run price range right one of these days i want to get a big board and put it on the dinner table and just do a big one and have a big party and just invite everybody who would love to come and just graze and snack with that type of stuff right so i hope you guys like this video this one is for super bowl super bowl's coming up so we're, we're going to go into our super bowl series i want to ask you guys if you are interested in sending us a show idea or you want to find out more about sponsoring the show go ahead and hit me up at the email down below bearpantryshow at gmail.com and you can find it at my website too all right so and that's bearpantryshow.com don't forget to like subscribe share and all that good stuff and i'll see you guys in the next upload bye remember guys we are not buying this book pick up a copy of this book instead beans and rice volume 2 is the only belizean cookbook backed by the bear pantry show take a look at all these wonderful recipes you'll find inside the pages not interested in belizean dishes then the pantry laid bear with these better than restaurant quality comfort foods might be the perfect book for you only need a small batch or a meal for two then pick up a copy of no more leftovers each book has many choices of delicious dishes from basic ingredients